Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on November the 26th, 2019. Alibaba marks the world's largest stock sale. Alibaba Group's Hong Kong shares made a solid debut on Tuesday, adding 6.9% more than their issue price and slightly surpassing the price in New York after the Chinese e-commerce giant marked the world's largest stock sale this year. The company has raised at least $11.3 billion from the second release in which has become a kind of a vote of confidence in Hong Kong's financial future amid six months of violent anti-government protests. That amount could climb to as much as $12.9 billion if Alibaba chooses to exercise an over-allotment option within 30 days of the start of trade. In early afternoon trade, the shares were traded at 188.10 Hong Kong dollars, exceeding the issue price of 176 Hong Kong dollars. Trump makes Kushner de facto border wall manager. U.S. President Donald Trump has made Jared Kushner the de facto project manager for constructing his border wall. Frustrated with the lack of progress over one of his top priorities as he heads into a tough re-election campaign, according to current and former administration officials. The president's son-in-law and senior advisor is pressing U.S. Customs and Border Protection and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to expedite the process of taking over private land needed for the project as the government seeks to meet Trump's goal of erecting 450 miles of barriers along the U.S.-Mexico border by the end of 2020th. More than 800 felons to seize private property will need to be made in the coming month and the government is going to succeed. Google fires employees involved in protests. About 200 employees started protests under Google's office wall in San Francisco on Friday with aim to demand that two suspended worker activists be reinstated. By Monday, four workers left the company and at least one of them, Rebecca Rivers, a software engineer at Google who had been involved with internal protests against Google's work with U.S. Customs and Border Protection, said she had been fired. Leaders of Google's security and investigations team said the firings were due to clear and repeated violations of our data security policies. However, company's employees had different options regarding this, underlining that the public protests and firings are glaring indications of growing labor unrest at Google. Hyundai Motor to build new factory in Indonesia South Korea's Hyundai Motor said on Tuesday it has signed a preliminary deal to build a new car plant in Indonesia, which would be its first factory in Southeast Asia. This move was seen as an effort to contend with Japanese rivals that dominate the market. The deal comes as Hyundai and affiliate Kia Motors struggle with a prolonged sales downturn in China. Hyundai Motors said it will invest about $1.55 billion in the Indonesia auto manufacturing plant from now until 2030, including product development and operation costs. The facility to be built in the city of Bekasi, east of Jakarta, will start production in late 2021 with an annual capacity of 150,000 vehicles and a goal to produce around 250,000 vehicles a year. Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot owners sign a merger deal. Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot owner PSA stated they would sign a merger agreement in coming weeks. At this moment, FCA and PSA are in talks to finalize a merger that would create the world's fourth largest car maker. In two separate communications through internal channels obtained by Reuters on Tuesday, the two groups told employees that more than 50 people were involved in the process. According to the deed, nine working groups were established, led by FCA Group Treasurer and Global Head of Business Development David Osterman and by PSA Executive Vice President Program and Strategy Olivier Borsch.